Hey everybody, thanks for tuning back into the channel. Today on Soupy Socks Enduro, we're gonna be jumping into a pair of Alpine Star Tech 3s to see how they perform in the wet. Everybody, I have a pair of Alpine Star Tech 3s in front of me and they're ready to be jumped into and to take through some water forging and waterproofing tests. Now motorcycle boots, motocross boots by its nature, none of them are really truly waterproof. Some are more water resistant than others. So when we talk about water resistance, we talk about the amount of time before water finds its way and penetrates inside the boot soupy you know making our socks soupy getting wet and then having to deal with drenched feet all day so we're going to be testing a whole host of motocross boots in very wet conditions to see which ones have the best water resistancy i've got a whole host of them from popular brands to value brands to even used boots and we can go toe to toe compare them in the wet elements to see which ones will bring you the best water uh, you know uh, proofing that they do offer most of the motocross boots are designed for motocross track racing so they are designed for ventilation protection and for function so they want you to have some good tactile feel on the pegs they want you to be able to freely move your ankles while protecting from high impacts and also from moisture wicking and everything that would go into making the ride pleasant on the feet so what we're going to do here in this series is actually just pinpoint the waterproofing level. I'm going to be jumping into these boots and we're going to be testing them from how deep you can take them before they would actually penetrate some water into them. And also we're going to do a ride review and then a boot care kit. Most motocross boots, especially the Alpine Stars, do carry a owner's manual for them to talk to about what features they have, the benefits, what is built into them. And, but what we're also going to do is we're going to look at the care and maintenance of these boots. Uh, Alpine Star Tech 3s are their entry level boots. Uh, used to be Alpine Star Tech 1s, which we will test out a old series version. We won't be able to uh, test out the new ones due to the fact that Alpine Star no longer makes them. But what we're going to do is we're going to test out the, the whole lineup. So with that, we're going in and jumping into these Tech 3s and we're going to test them. In today's episode, it's going to be one of three. First episode is going to be talking about the introductory of the boot, some of the key features of the boot, then we're going to go throw them in the aquarium and seeing how far the water levels can go. We're going to do it by buckle to see when water penetration will get in and how long it takes for water to seep inside the boot. Now these Alpine Star Tech 3s have some good features in them that should make them more waterproof, but we're gonna see and put that to the test. 
So that's in series one. Series two is going to take them out and do a ride review. And we're going to be going through a creek. We're going to simulate a water crossing, a failed water crossing. And then from there, we're going to get these boots pretty soaked and wet, seeing how much water they retain in the boot. And then from there, we're going to see the dry time. And so that's going to be part two. Part three is going to be care and maintenance afterwards how you should care for them, what type of brush, uh, brushes should you use on them, how much pressure is too much water pressure on them, and what type of soaps to use to keep them lasting a lot longer so your investment is maximized. It's all about maximizing our investments because once we plunk down anywhere between two and $800 for motocross boots, that's quite a, you know, it's, it's quite a large chunk of change to be changing them out every year. If we can get two, three years out of them, we're just maximizing the value that we paid for them. I'm not going to go too much into the boots of the attributes and for all the features and functions. From there, you can look at some reputable uh, online reviews from uh, Rocky Mountain ETV, which I'll link here, and also from Revzilla, which I'll link here as well. Those two do a great job on not only attaining the boots through e-commerce, but also looking and going over the features to see if they're right for you. In this episode, we're just looking at the water and how they perform in the wet because that is a big function of enduro riding and even in some cases motocross riding where wa water is usually a high encounter. So we wanna see which boot does perform the best in the wet. This is what this series is all about. So any anyway, guys, let's go get the aquarium set up and we'll start part one of this series and see how they perform. Well guys, I got my aquarium set up. What I did with this test here is I added a metal plate on the bottom and I anchored the boots down with a uh, plastic uh, tie wrap. So hopefully this will work. Uh, if it isn't, I'll make some adjustments in future episodes. But the idea is to test the water depth leak test into three areas. The first area is we're gonna fill it up to the first drop and then time it to see if we see any leakage. Then the second time we're gonna do it is gonna go up to the second strap and then the third strap. And to see what depth these will start taking on water and how long they do actually take to leak. So I got them all mounted up. Just gonna be starting to throw some water in and watch and see, let's see what the results are. Well guys, bad news. Usually within two minutes, we're starting to get water inside the boot. Well guys, not sure if you can see that really well, but these guys here are wet inside. Probably see a little bit of the water. So for water absorption, they will start leaking before that. So again, if you're in the water for less than two minutes and you're at that depth, the Alpine Star Tech 3s, will start to leak and your feet will be soaking wet uh, within five minutes. So let's go in and see how much more water gets penetrated. We're gonna go to the second buckle with these and then see how fast and how much water they actually, you know, leak. everybody now that they have almost reached the second buckle you can tell that the water is pretty well flowing pretty well inside them so the amount of water that's outside the boot is inside the boot it's going to be a soaker city for the alpine star tech 3 at the first buckle not sure if you can see inside but um it's actually not that great of a film but anyway, as you can see the water inside and the both boots are wet at the first cycle. So again, they'll just leak a lot faster than that. These uh, Alpine Stars, again, at an entry level boot, uh, they do not have any type of water resistance beyond the first buckle. So when I did the test, I put it in there, rose the water up, 
first buckle within less than three minutes water was leaching into them by that time it was just constant water and following to the level of the outside so again within two to three minutes your feet will be wet probably less than that if there's any splashing involved Alrighty guys, so how much water do these guys absorb? Pretty well a lot. In that depth for five minutes, you'll have quite a lot of water. These will be drying out for a while. So I would say that the Alpine Star Tech 3 wall, they're a great boot. You'd probably have no problems with them on a daily basis. You run into any type of water uh, obstacle you're going to have soaked feet and that's basically the reality of these boots so again they do offer an enduro dry star but only in the tech sevens any of the tech fives or tech threes those uh, waterproof membrane and those waterproof uh, features that are found on the tech sevens are not available on the tech three so if water resistancy is your um, you know a higher range of importance then I might look at spending the extra money for the Tech 7 Dry Stars, which we will be testing out to see their threshold for water resistancy. Yeah. Again, the price point is good. Everything about the boot has really good attributes. Again, just had our water. As you can tell, they soak up quite a bit. And like I said, these things will be drying out for a while. So you might want to consider something else. But anyway, guys, that's the Alpine Star. Tech 3 review, the aquarium dunk. Stay tuned next week where we unleash the ride review with them. Thanks for coming along on this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. And we will catch you on the next episode of Soupy Socks and Duro. You guys stay soupy for now. Ah. What now? I can't even fucking get my feet out of here. Oh, it's deep. Deep in? Ah, fuck. We're at the end because now it goes up. Not stuck. Here.